What's up, Barnhill family, and welcome back to the channel. Yo, yo. So Nick, Barstool Sports' first ever UFC fighter certainly has delivered since he's gone into the UFC. Paddy the Batty is now 2-0, two and two first round finishes. As expected last night, the stadium absolutely erupted when his walkout song came on. What can you say? This kid's a rising star. Yeah, I mean, the roof was about to blow off of that place. And, you know, everybody was saying, man, once you get Patty the Batty in the UFC and, you know, God forbid you're able to get him into London or get him into the UK and let him have a fight out here, it's going to be a different thing. It's going to be the closest thing to what we've seen in Conor McGregor since Conor McGregor. So I, I think they might be right. This guy really does have that it factor. And I, it's not because he looks like a million bucks. Maybe he does in some people's eyes, but some people love the crazy haircut. Some people love the crazy walkout, the fact that he dances. He's a true showman. I think he's aligning himself with all the right people. Barstool Sports was was really smart to get with him. And, you know, they're starting to dip their toe into the MMA world, which I think is cool. MMA is the fastest growing sport in the world. And people are really starting to take note at how entertaining the sport is. And they wanted to get a piece of it. And they were a little late on the Conor McGregor train, but they see Patty the Batty as a major force. And I honestly think after last night's performance, we do have a serious star in our hands. That's two fights in the UFC. That's two finishes. They're very entertaining fights. You know, the first one was a knockout. This second one here was a submission. So he's showing us he's got all kinds of different skills, but he's also not afraid to engage in a very entertaining fight and a very entertaining first round. For sure. And Barstool was super smart to sign him. I mean, he fits the market of Barstool perfectly. He absolutely resonates with the fans that they have over there. And I think it's really cool that he's building his platform in many ways, one of which is fighting in the UFC. And that's what you're seeing with these young rising stars, these kids that really get the game. Sean O'Malley is the other example that comes to mind. But Sean and Patty, to me, have a good grasp on what it takes to really grab this game by the horns and make a lot of money early on and build yourself into a mega star. A lot of people, when they come into the UFC, they have one singular focus in mind, the belt. I want to get to the belt and I want to get to it as fast as I possibly can. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not saying that Sean and Patty don't want to have the belt at some point. And I think probably both of them, if they continue to develop, might be able to get there at some point in their career. But they're saying, hey, they understand the rise of the fighter is what everybody really loves. That's where you fall in love with the fighter. That's where we fell in love with Conor McGregor. That's where we fell in love with Habib and Islam Makashev to a different degree. We fell in love with their skill sets and how good they were and the, the unrealized potential, if you will. Patty the Batty, I think what makes him so special is that he embraces his quirks. We talk all the time about how after Conor came out with the suits and the sunglasses and the sharp haircut and the nice trimmed beard, everybody wanted to look like Conor. Everybody wanted to be like Connor, but Patty the Batty, he's a little nerdy. He's a little quirky. He's got this funny looking haircut. They call him the fifth beetle. He does these weird dances after the fight's over. Like he embraces the weirdness that, that he has. And I love that about him because there's nothing more authentic than being genuinely who you are. And Patty the Batty nails that. Yeah. He's unapologetically Patty the Batty. Yeah. And I think, you know, he's got the name right. He's got everything down. And there were uh, tons of uh, bang, bat, bat, uh, <laughs> what, what bangs, did I call them? Yeah. Batty bangs, wigs all over. And I would assume that they're going to start selling those pretty soon if they weren't already selling them in the arena. You know, you rinse and repeat with these guys. You, Tom Aspinall really showed up. Molly Meatball McCann really yeah. showed up. Arnold Allen. I mean, we'll have to make a video on that separate. But these, these UK fighters really showed up. They showed out for their people. And I think that if you're able to get back over to the, U, the UK, if you're the UFC, you'll be able to continue to really blow the roof off of these places and keep building Patty and keep building all these names that are really starting to take off. And, you know, you nailed it with the Sean O'Malley and the Patty the Batty. They are figuring out that it is more important than just the punches and the kicks. It's more important than how good you are inside the octagon. You know, you got to speak well. You got to be funny. You don't even really have to, you know, blow people away with trash talk or truth talk as Conor McGregor talks, yeah. calls it. You don't have to be this brash character. You can be yourself. Just do it. And, and make sure that people, you know, will get behind you whenever it is you're doing what you're doing and obviously utilize those other sorts of platforms and vehicles that the UFC gives you. You know, YouTube is something that these guys figured out very early. They're like, well, you know, I only get to work for the UFC three or four nights a week, uh, th three or four nights a year. 
I might as well do something those other 361 days out yeah. of the year. So why don't I get a YouTube channel going? Let people see what my training's like. Let people see what it's like to hang out with me, Patty the Batty. You know, I might go have some fish and chips and a, a, a drink, a, a beer yeah. or whatever. I don't really know what he likes to drink. Probably beer. He say he likes to get fat in between fights. So I'm guessing a lot of fish and chips are in order. Yeah, exactly. I bet the pubs were, were pretty crazy last oh, night yeah. too in London. But uh, you know, that sort of look into to a fighter's life is is really fun. People love to watch it. The rise is really cool because you're watching like a guy that almost feels like your friend. And yeah. he's and he's moving up the ranks in the UFC. He's becoming a star, and you're literally watching this meteoric rise. I think that's what people love. That's what people connect with, and they really want to see more of that. And Patty the Batty's nailing it right now. So uh, I think he's on the right path. Sean O'Malley. There's very few doing it, but the ones that are doing it are, are absolutely excelling in the game. Absolutely. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Drop us a comment and let us know what you thought about Patty the Batty's performance and who he should fight next. We know he called out Mark Zuckerberg. I doubt that fight's going to happen, but Ilya Tapura might be around the corner. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. Peace.